Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Tips, where we try and get you those tips that are so vital for catching that extra fish that makes the difference. Now then, you've been to the tackle shop, you've just purchased a brand new fishing reel. You want to put some line on it. Okay, now there's two types of fixed ball, which these are called spinning reels in some countries, or fixed ball reels here in the UK, okay? You open the bail arm, you put your finger there, you cast, you close the bail arm, you wind. If a fish pulls line out, it has a drag which you adjust on the front, okay? Now then, there's two types of fixed ball reels in this day and age. There are what I would call the standard ones like this. Now they have quite a narrow gap here, but a very deep spool that way, okay? They take a lot of line. You can use them from a boat if you wanted to. If you wanted to fish from the shore for long distance casting, you will find the spools are now not a lot shallower, not as deep as this one from the center of the spindle. They're a lot shallower, but they're a lot longer here. They're a lot well, higher really, so that they can spread the line. So when it casts off the rod, it, it's got the oscillation system, which is what takes that up and down. If you look at that spool, it goes up and down. And this knuckle here spreads the line evenly up and down. Can you see it moving there? Just going up and down, up and down. It's spreading the line evenly up and down that spool. All good, all fine. But I really like this. If you don't fill it correctly, you will either have it spilling over the top and you snap off on the first cast. It's a loose, loose cause of line will co coil up and catch generally in the butt ring or the tip ring. Crack, off it goes. Or you can't cast as far as you should be because you haven't filled it up enough. Because here, if you can imagine if I tied a few turns of line around that real spool there and tried to cast, the drag on that lip here is tremendous. It's just going to slow the cast down so much. As the line spins off like this, it's going to be dragging on the front of that spool. So it's really, really, well, I would say it's friction resistant. I don't know what the word to call it. It puts a lot of friction on the line, slows it up. And of course, that's rubbing all the time. It's wearing. So do you actually want a reel that takes however many yards of line this takes probably 350 yards of line. Are you going to cast 350 yards? I'm certainly not, unless I'm not attached to the lead. That's the only time I cast 350 yards with a crack off. So what you can do, you can either pack out, let's say one third of that spool with a thicker line. If you're gonna use 12 to 15 pound line, let's say that's the average for beach fishing, pipe fishing, carp fishing, fine. This is just a Joe average reel. Then you can pack it out with a thicker diameter line, something like, turn it around there, otherwise you say, you've got, you're getting it all for free. No, they are not even giving them any publicity whatsoever. It's 50 pound line. That's much thicker diameter. So you put less of that on, but pack it up, and then you can top off, I'll turn it around again, so that nobody can see the spool make. I'll turn it around again, and you can top off with, let's say, in this case, this will probably be 15, it's 15 pound line because I'm probably going to be using this for pike, carp and beach fishing as well. So I use less of this so you can get more spools filled out of that one spool of line, bulk spool, because I've got another line, like one to fill here. You can see this is a metal, that's graphite. So this is a heavy spool, possibly for boat fishing. I would say this might be for if you're holding the reel longer, he says dropping it. If you're holding the reel longer, that you know, casting or retrieving, that metal spool well, quite heavy. So you've got a graphite one. In this particular model, they give you a graphite one as well. But the same principle applies. You can see, very, very deep. So you need to either fill it up. Hey, listen, hey, ho, if you've got plenty of money and you want to waste all your line, uh, money filling up the line all the way at the top, great. If you want to get the best out of a bulk spool, let's say you're going to cast 100 yards, you're going to want 30 yards left over for a fish that's going to rip the line off. Well, there's nothing ripping any line off here in England that I know of in the last 50 years. So possibly 200 yards of line, 150 yards of line, probably do you. But third way of doing it, you can pack it out with what we call masking tape. So I'll show you how you do that. And you can pack this out. We used to do it 30, 40 years ago, packing reels out so we could get just the line we wanted on the reel. And that way, if we got down, we had a crack off and it started going down, we, we, we peel it all off. We put a fresh shot on there, what we call a shot of line. We used to put a fresh shot on there. Whereas if you filled all that up with, with just this spool, you're winding and winding and wound, whatever, 350, 400 yards on there, you're never gonna see that line at the end of that. And what happens is with nylon line, it compresses. 
on top of each other, on, on top of the actual line underneath. And when you get to the bottom here, sometimes you can turn it around, but generally when it's been compacted, because it will go on stretch, it will crinkle and you'll get, well, it's not worth using really. So sometimes it's better to pack out with a thicker line, masking tape, or just use what we call short shots. 150 yards, 180 yards at a go. That way you can use that 180 yards when it gets worn or you have a crack off. Take it all off, back down to the base, spool up again, fresh, crisp, clean line. You won't lose any fish. I'll show you how I do it. Okay, this one I'm gonna pack up with some, some 50 pound mono. You can use whatever you want. You might have some spare stuff laying around. Use what you want. And first off, I'm gonna tie a sliding knot, a stop knot, to attach to the spool. Now, this is how I do it. Everybody has different ways of doing it. Trust me, there is no right way. There is the way that doesn't snap. I'm just gonna tie a simple overhand knot in the end of the 50 pound mono. Pull it tight, get the tag end, snip it off. I'm then going to slide, I'll show you this, this piece of line, this safe's taking the spool off by the way guys. Underneath the bail arm, just like that, make a loop with an overhand, or sometimes you can double it, I might even double it, so I'll go through twice through the loop for you. And it's doubly strong, pull it down, so I've got a sliding loop there which I put over the spool of the reel. C'est voila, pull it down. If you pull it tight, that knot will snug down on top of each itself there and stay at the base of the reel and then the line is already on the right side of the bail arm. It goes in that knuckle, just there, slots into the knuckle just right for you to start loading it up, start filling up with line like this. But there's another little twist I can give you. You can make yourself a little pile of books like this. You can put your bulk spool on the back of the books. You can get, well, it couldn't be a better one than that for me, could it? Peter Benchley and Sharks. I put my line about the middle of the book, just open the book, put it through the middle of the book, like that. So that keeps a nice tension on everything. And you can see, I can start winding away there, and I've got a nice, smooth, even tension on the line going onto the real spool, and I can start to back it up, not too fast, and just gradually build that base up on the spool, which is packing it out. And it's going to save me a huge amount, probably more than 150 yards of line actually. Because don't forget, this is 50 pound test, so I can start to pack all that up and it's nice and tight, just like that. I don't do it fast, I only do it slowly. Just gradually build that base up on it, and then I can top off with actually the real line that I intend using, let's say about 180 yards of 15 pound test. Okay, same principle. I've attached the 15 pound line, which is my main fishing line I want to use, to the 50 pound using an all bite special knot. I've got my bulk spool of 15 pounds, the same principle. I call it up, I lay it down carefully, I run it through the books, and then I'm ready to spool up at a nice even tension all the way right to the rim of the spool. But I want to show you something just before we get it to the end. Now, here's the most important thing with a fixed ball reel. If you underfill it, you'll still have that lip there, okay, which is gonna create friction when it casts out and comes off over the top here. On the other hand, if you overfill it, and we all do it because we think the more line we've got on, the farther we can cast, no. If you fill it so it's on the edge, slightly, slightly bulbous here, just around the edge of the spool, it will fly off it will just create a huge burst nest, you will get a snap. It just springs off faster, it's coming basically off faster than the leg can carry it. You've got to get it just about a millimetre or two below the edge of that spool. So don't underfill it, don't overfill it, get it just right. Okay, so there's the reel, already done. That's loaded up, you would never know there's 50 pound line under there, I must have put a good 200 yards on top. So here's a second spool, same principle except I use some masking tape. Now we used to use this a lot years ago, probably because we didn't even a full 50 pound line to back all the uh, spool up with. And you can use what we call electrical stretch tape, which is electrical insulation tape. And you can pack all this up 
build all that and reduce the amount of line you've got to put on the end and obviously as i say if it wears out we call it they call basically big game fishing they just call them top shots which is the top shot of the best line you can afford to change it then so out of one bulk spool we'll say like this one bulk spool this has got 950 yards of line on it you might get five or six shots out of that which obviously is value for money and the line down at the bottom here doesn't get crushed and crinkly let's just pack this up a bit more and i'll fill that one up and show you and there you go that's the lighter um, real spool loaded up ready to go underneath here's masking tape Underneath that one is 50 pound line. That's giving you two different ways of spooling or backing up a reel, saving yourself some money, saving yourself some line, keep a new line near the top of the spool and get them filled up so you can cast well. Good luck with the fishing and keep watching Totally Awesome Fishing Tips. Yes, on the Totally Awesome Fishing Show.